Hello everyone, said here back again with another video. In this video, we're going to discuss about materialized CSS, and here we check about the some component which is a pre inbuilt in uh, materialized.css. Really, is amazing features provided by material dot material dot c material sorry amazing features provided by the materialized.css so i am going to show you something uh, so i hope you have also the little bit uh, uh, knowledge about the css and html and also have the javascript so once you have uh, this is a little bit confused and you have cleared so i am going to show you realistic example in present in javascript so you can check we have the impre uh, uh, something uh, css libraries and components we have in build so we can check from here and we have the javascript and we have the fonts and mobile version also you can check some something so this is the amazing features which is provided by uh, materialize.css uh, that so i'm going to discuss about so let's uh, get start so now here we can start with a download from here and also we can use the cdn version and here we can use the javascript and little bit about the component and css i'm going to describe uh, so also you can use the uh, npn manager if you're using angular and any other javascript framework so you can use uh, this npm package manager okay so now i'm going to show you something uh, css okay so le let us discuss about the css so here we uh, we can check the color grade and helper so what about the colors you can check the multiple colors are here like here you can check the teal and uh, below you can check the multiple colors or palette we have so we can check from here and grid you can uh, divided the your grid system like bootstrap we have and uh, material materialized dot css also we have the such of such kind of functionality so we can divide the one screen in 12 part and whatever part you want something if you want to part three so you can divide the four 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 something so we can use as a grid system also in here okay so in bootstrap you can check something called is call sm and 12 something and md different different screens so you can divide it the particular uh, on the screen and so here we have so something uh, interesting also which is a similar to bootstrap so if you also don't know about the bootstrap so don't worry about it you can start learn from material dot material materialized dot css okay so let's uh, get started okay so we have here uh, call s uh, call s1 so here we have the multiple uh, tab something we can divide the screens we have something you uh, one screen divided the 12 part and if you want to divide it two parts something so you can get the, uh, right here call call as six something okay two times so your screen will divide it two part and if you want to divide it three parts so you can write here call s4 and means your skin screen will divide the four uh, three parts something if you want to divide it two parts something you can put six six something so you can use whatever you want something if you want to five seven something you can also use that okay so we have the some kind of standard uh, practice is here here you can check we have the sick and also the, that's an amazing feature in offsets also okay so offsets means if you want to uh, right side left side you can particular uh, uh, your choice if you want you can do that okay so uh, here the, i have uh, given the example little bit about uh, so you can also uh, write the align the vertical uh, vertical align some things you can check we have the middle the particular h5 so you can wrap the particular text whatever you want you can do that here okay so here uh, have already written in css some things dot left align right align center align so you can you don't need to write a lot of css when you are using the materialized dot css because materialized css is a kind of the libraries that uh, you can use the predefined css and javascript code okay so now we have the quick uh, floats you can check also is there okay so here i am not going to explain you a lot of features there you can check from your, your side also and uh, what uh, in uh, after this video i will also show you uh, what uh, we will also make the one project little projects and you can also learn about the how we can start the project step by step okay so now we can also use the media what is media basically if you want to circular image you can use the circular image using this class okay so 
here we have the class which is named as circular so this class uh, when you append any particular uh, image tag your uh, your uh, image will get automatically circulated so you don't uh, need to worry about okay so just put on the you can if you want to watch video you can say uh, check from here also okay so this is media basically okay so this is the pulse basically if you want to do that look that this is automatically reflecting this is also amazing if you want try from your side it will take little time okay and so you can use the here from here okay so here also the table something if you want uh, use in your uh, in your project so you can use from here okay and uh, also we have the components in components we have the multiple uh, features are available so here you can check the buttons if you want you want breadcrumbs you want to cards and you want collection floating actions a lot of feature is there suppose uh, i like the floating action button <laughs> really that's amazing features floating button so suppose if you want to do that you can just hover that particular horizontal fab and you can choose the whatever you want the file system something upload text something you can choose whatever you even you can customize that particular uh, floating buttons also okay and footer so if you want to do that footer in your project so you can use this code also and here we have the many options paginations preloader something we have also here you can check that we have the preloader which is when uh, any particular areas you want to do it takes time so then you can put your uh, preloader also okay so javascript i'm going to show you in javascript also have the a lot of feature carousal if you want you can do that the carousal also okay <coughs> uh, if you want if you write if you want to write a you from your side this 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 will take a lot of time even if you're using any other libraries also will little bit time but here you don't need to do that one second my internet not working so really and uh, let me hear something i am going to show you some interesting features in carousal you can set up the your predefined which is the previous set and destroy and these are the properties you can check from here and uh, also let i'm going to show you next video with equalize something if you want to call us you can do that this is also here okay so sometimes we need to this feature to also in our website so don't need to write a lot of code just use the call as well here and drop down look that that's amazing features which is provided by materialize.css and media you can you can also check out here okay so here we have multiple options if you want this slider you can use in your website and also i will show you how to use that okay so don't worry about i'm just showing you the, what type functionalities we have this is site navigations bar look at that you don't need to put write a lot of code really this is amazing feature is scroll spy and here tool tips you can also check tab we have webs we have so we have the multiple features is there what is webs you can check also web if you are doing that here this is performing like webs look that scroll spy So we have the multiple options is there whatever you want you can uh, do that from here you can check that okay and uh, if you have any doubt related to this video please comment on comment section definitely i will try to make another video thank you for watching this video